Hey guys, this is Ms. Parker. Today I'm talking to you about what is a fraction. We have talked about what is a fraction in third grade already, but I want to just go over it one more time to review that. So I have this anchor chart for us to look at today. Um, so a fraction is a part of a whole. Um, it is a number that expressed equal parts of a whole object or a set of objects. So here are some examples. Here is a square that has been divided into four pieces. One piece is shaded, so the fraction would be one fourth. The top number in the fraction is the numerator, and the bottom number in the fraction is the denominator. The numerator is how many parts we're counting, and the denominator is how many there are in the whole. Here's another example of a one fourth fraction. There is one circle shaded. That's our numerator, but there are four circles altogether. That's our denominator, so one fourth is shaded. A numerator can be a part of a whole. Here is another example. There's two that are red out of six, so two sixths are red and four sixths are blue. Um, a fraction can be a part of a set, so here are some smiley faces, and that's the set. Uh, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three are yellow, so three sevenths are yellow, and four sevenths are orange. Some key words that you could remember when you're talking about fractions half, third, fourths, fifths, sixths, sevenths, eighths. <clears throat> uh, when the numerator is a one, we call that a unit fraction when we're talking about one piece of the whole. So we're going to be working on fractions this week, and I hope you have a great day.